Yeah, Laura, the drugs are used to facilitate sexual assault, and they may have been seen right here, downtown Warrensburg, at one of the bars, as well as an off-campus house. Now, so far, there have been no reports of serious injuries, and the university wants to keep it that way. All across campus, students are talking about a warning put out by the university after it received two separate tips of a date rape drug being seen at different locations just days apart. It has students concerned and watchful. Knowing that it's, it's a possibility here so close to home definitely, definitely makes me a little bit more cautious. It was concerning because like, you know, I have a lot of friends and stuff and I'd hate to see something happen to them, but I'm glad the university was like, you know, taking a step to help, you know, maybe prevent it. The university says it's being proactive. We're looking out for our students. Jeff Murphy has worked at the university for 27 years. He's never heard of this happening before. We all have a responsibility on this campus to look out for each other to make sure we're safe. Both campus and the Warrensburg police say no one has filed a police report about the incidents. At this point, there is no criminal investigation. Just the fact that somebody would do that is it is pretty terrifying. The university is telling students not to leave drinks unattended. Don't accept drinks from people you don't know. Use the buddy system while socializing. And if you see something, say something. They should be aware of it and they should take measures to protect themselves. And the university says it does not see any pattern here. It says it has only received two tips out of the 14,500 students that are currently enrolled. Reporting live in Warrensburg, Brian Johnson, KMBC 9 News.